thing, right? Last time I was like... You're gonna love some wetted food, you put a nine orange. Repeat that again? <laughs> You're gonna love some wetted food if I put a nine orange. No. So... What Charlie just said is, I'm going to laugh so much if he puts in an orange. A nine. Do you know who so that is? So it's going to be a nine if you put in an orange. Oh, bring it there. Oh! No, don't you dare. Not when no, we're no, recording. no. Right now we're recording. you got to scram beat it. Yeah, or, or, one hey, doesn't subscribe. you got to scram beat it. you got to scram beat it or not talk during the podcast. When you're done, okay? Yes, of course. Do you know who that is? That's an, Charlie no, the bear. No, 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 not Charlie. Annoying orange. I don't know. That's a real thing. Yeah. You guys are so weird. It's a YouTube channel. You know, that actually... Annoying Orange is a YouTube channel. That used to be a real show. For some reason, unknowingly. But I think I know why. They took it off. Because this is what they do. It was, this is supposed to be like a kid show. Where um, this orange would walk up to his friend. Like Pear, Apple... And then he'd be like, or some sort of stranger, like, uh, hey, pineapple, what? Knife! A knife, like, a man would carry a knife and they just cut the, cut the pineapple, for example. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Knife! Yeah, you know, a lot of that social media stuff that you guys like, it is only funny if you see it. But if you guys, like, try to explain to anybody or tell anybody about that... It doesn't make sense. Like, I guess you guys are like starting to be so cryptic because you're so into the internet that you don't really talk like regular people anymore. You talk like internet people. You guys are creating your own new language. Internet is what I do in my free time. Yeah, I know that. Or when this one... <laughs> and either that... Well, Finish Spinner's kind of died. Um... But I used to fin- spin my fidget spinner while watching a video or something. Yeah. So, I've been thinking about spoiled kids again. It's something serious that I think about. You know why I think about it? Because um, I have a real problem with spoiled kids. Um, when, about 10 years ago, I used to be um, a youth leader at a church. But it's already been seven minutes. Yeah, I used to be a, le- a youth leader at a church. Oh, yeah, you told me this. Yeah. And I dealt with kids, and there was like two kids that were just spoiled brats, and they were the worst kids to deal with ever. And it didn't help because the parents were so stupid. Like they they let the kid do whatever he wanted. What you would never let me do that? Yeah, because that's stupid. <laughs> because that's how you make mistakes. So like these, I mean, that's the reason why I I stopped being a youth leader or whatever because I, I didn't I, I didn't mind working with you know teenagers and stuff or like young kids but when you have to deal with like spoiled brat kids that don't respect your time it's just ugly man it gets it gets old you know so I, I guess uh since that experience I've hated spoiled kids I have a real problem with it and then it, it, it I guess it the I it, it damn it I thought about it again because your your uncle's moving into our house Oh. He's mo- he's moving into a room. Mm-hmm. And in the TV room where I spend most of my time. Yeah. He took your TV room, so you should be mean to him when he's here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh it's something weird to me, man, because I wasn't spoiled, so like um nobody ever let me just live in my their house for free. But it's just he's just he was a spoiled kid. He was raised very spoiled, so he's having problems working and getting his life together. So, spoiled kids out there know that you got to learn how to work. You got to learn how to be persistent on working towards something and earning something. Didn't you tell me, like, when you were eight years old, you you started selling things at the swamp meet? Yeah, I did. See, uh, I, I thought, I always, I hated always being poor. So... I worked early, and I always thought, man, it sucks being poor and all that stuff. But I look at it now, I'm like, man, I'm happy that I was poor. I grew up poor because I'm a hard worker, I'm not lazy, and I want to always, you know, succeed in things because I hate being poor. Because I I know what it feels like, but people who are not born into a poor situation, like your uncle, you know, were given everything without having to work for it. So... 
you you create someone's belief in their brain that things come to you without having to work for it. And you raise a kid like that, when he gets to the real world, he's going to realize, oh, people just don't give me stuff. Uh, no, your free lunches are over, buddy. But, uh, yeah, and uh, that's, I guess I've been thinking about that, man, because it's a serious problem because kids are spoiled nowadays, man. Kids are, like, more and more kids, even poor kids are being raised spoiled. Really? They let them do whatever they want. It's like, no, you're going to destroy him. Stop. He needs to know how to work. And then you have poor kids living in mama's house who is also poor, so they're probably living in the garage or something. That's that's terrible, man. Don't be spoiled kids, man. You guys have a lot of cool technology, but don't get spoiled. Don't Don't be lazy. Whatever. Exactly. But I did I did think about a joke um, about that, that the world is going to fall apart because spoiled people depend on hardworking people to take care of them. But if everybody becomes spoiled, who's going to take care of the spoiled people? What if this whole house here loops? I call them loops anyways. Um... What if this everybody in this house was spoiled? Nobody wanted to work. Oh come on! Yeah, we would lose the house, right? <laughs> Let's all be spoiled. Oh, I want this. I want that. I don't want to work. It should be magic and fall out of the sky into my hands. I want to do a tantrum if I don't get what I want. You know what that reminds me of? When we, when me and Charlie got Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's a spoiled. No, yeah. <laughs> When we got home from school, Charlie, okay, so mom was giving us some yogurts. Yeah. So we're like, oh, thank you. And then I opened my yogurt. I was leaving to my room upstairs. Um, and then I hear Charlie. He's, he's crying downstairs. And I come downstairs, why are you crying? And he's like, because mom left to get, go in the car. And nobody's, nobody's going to open this yogurt for me. Oh, dude. <laughs> I wish I would have been here, there to slap him upside his head. I, I need to. I got to. Parents, if you ever see this, man, you got to slap your kids upside the head. Gosh, man. That's not reality, man. Oh, I'm going to cry. Nobody can open this for me. Ah. <laughs> Just helpless. Absolutely helpless. You don't want to be helpless, people. Man, you got to... Gotta be self-sufficient, at least hard-working. Jeez, man. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that alone for now. I probably will come back to that eventually. You talk to that. You talk. You tell me that at least once every, not not including the podcast, at least once every week. Yeah, because it's a real it's a real problem. It really is. Um, it, the thing is, people are gonna want. If you give people a certain amount of things easily, they're going to expect more and they're going to want more. It never stops. So it's just, I want you to be prepared, you know, and take care of yourself and your future and your family in the future. Um, because, dude, it's going to suck for a lot of people because they're all going to be lazy bums. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Anyways. Any hap- any funny happen? Nobody scratched their butt in virtual reality this time. <laughs> well, um, next to me, they were playing this uh, shooting game that I think it looks really cool. I might play it next time. Um, <sighs> dude, they were yelling like, "Oh my god, they're about to get me!" And I was right there trying to complete this level. And I can't concentrate because they're like, oh my god! What, were they freaking out? Yeah! In a See, game. They're probably a spoiled child. They don't <laughs> no, know how to deal they're, with conflict. They're teenagers. They're, they're, like, they're probably a spoiled teenager. <laughs> that they just freak out. They're they don't like know a, what to do in a real life situation a, where you get attacked. A group of friends. Mm. Maybe they're exaggerating. Because their friends were there. They probably want to make a video of it. I'm going to exaggerate in virtual reality. 
Um, that no, part they sound stupid I on video. I didn't see a phone, a tablet, or any d recording device. So that guy was just ridiculous without yeah. wanting to be ridiculous to yeah. look cool on video? Yeah. Or, no, no without on video. As I'm saying, like, he wasn't recording himself, so he just looked ridiculous because he looked ridiculous a because he wasn't trying. A lot of people trying. were staring. A lot of people were just staring. Uh, gosh. The last time... I, I would be, like, pretty sad if that was my child. <laughs> You nope. shouldn't say that, but hey, you know. The last time gotta be true about I this. went to virtually, not including Sunday, but like the last, last time, mm -hmm. I went with my cousins. Um, Isabella tried this game called Super Hot. I wanted to try that game so bad. It's like a shooting game. Mm -hmm. And then, but the last time we went, Isabella, they took the game down. I'm listening. <laughs> they, took, they took the game down, and then I asked them, "Hey, why do you guys take super hot down?" Oh, because everyone acted like realistic, so they grabbed the controls big time, like oh, press the button, <laughs> big time. So they had to buy new remotes, and keep in mind those headsets are like eight hundred dollars. Really? Yeah, I wow, no, I that's searched, a lot. I searched it up online because I was like, oh, I might be interested in one, you know, and then. I saw the price. It's like eight hundred dollars. Dude, the headset alone. No, the, the headset. The, the plus. headset that covers your eyes. The headset plus, because there's not one that doesn't come with it. That's still a lot. That's a lot of money, man. I can't. So, I can't.